All right, hey everyone, I'm excited to be back after not uploading any content for a couple of years. So I'm just gonna dive right into this video. So we're gonna make a new juice project with CMake and I'm gonna show you how to use CLion, Xcode or VS Code with CMake. So yeah, let's start a new plugin project that we can continually build upon with each future video topic. We'll make it open source so all of you can clone the repo and follow along and contribute to. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna go to my public page so that everybody can access it. Repositories. Let's make a new repository. And I've been wanting to call something Comet something, something with the word Comet. So I'm just going to say, how about Comet Channel Strip? That's easy. Choose Landon. Public, no template. Add a readme, sure. A git ignore, yeah. Let's do a CMake git ignore, yeah. And how about a license? Sure, let's do like an MIT or something. Cool, we got a repo. Go ahead and clone it. Let's see. Docs, projects. Okay. Get clone. Oh, that was fast. Okay, good. So now we're going to add a couple of things we need uh, in terms of modules. So I'm going to add juice, of course, and we're also going to add some helpful CMake stuff. So Let's go get juice first. I'll put all of the links to these modules in the description. Cool. So now we have to go into, I already forgot, Comet channel. So let's make a modules folder, go into it, and we'll say get sub module add. So let's put juice. Excellent. So the only other module we need is called CMake Includes, and that is by the user Sudara, which has made this awesome, helpful CMake kind of, this is like a CMake kind of template um, project in this user's thing called Pample Juice, which I haven't used, but it's a, I think it's like an easy kind of project template for Juice plugins. So it's called CMake Includes, and we're gonna do the same thing. Git submodule add. To make includes excellent. Okay. Now, unlike Producer, which creates the source folder and the build files and stuff, we have nothing. So what do we do? We can go into the juice folder. And we can pull out the stuff we need. So examples, CMake, and audio plugin. You see we have our source files right here. They're just boilerplate, nothing really in them besides the classes. So let's do source, just like a regular producer project would have done. Yep. And then in the root right here, we're going to take a CMake list, and this is going to list all of the flags and functionality for our CMake project. And instead of taking this one, which is pretty bare bones, I'm just going to take one from another project I've done. Uh, I'm going to start with Sea Lion, and I know not everybody's going to be able to use it because it's not free. It's like a hundred bucks a year or something. So if you want to buy it and use it, cool. Um, if not, I'm going to show you how to use it in Xcode and in VS Code. So for C line, it's super easy. I'm going to open it. And all we have to do is open the actual uh, folder. Mm -hmm. It'll look at the CMake list and it'll try to populate the configuration. And we're going to have to change a few things uh, because that CMake list is from another project, but it's pretty simple. Uh, let's get rid of that. You see it tried to build it already and it can't. So, so let me see. I keep forgetting I want to make this a little better. Move these up here and I'll explain it in a second. So this project is going to be called Comet uh, Channel Strip. Simple. Current version, yep. Product name is Comet Strip. Company name, Viator, DSP, that's good. Mm-hmm. And Comet sh Channel Strip. Add subdirectory, this is modules juice. 
And we don't have to also do an add subdirectory for CMake uh, includes because the, uh, the Sudar stuff has that already. So we are showing it where Juice is. We're setting the CMake standard to 17. I've got some Apple and Linux stuff that I've figured out how to do um, to make it work on Linux. So you could copy that if you want, but if, if you're not going to build on Linux, then, um, you know, it doesn't matter. I got this to disable all warnings because I'm lazy. Let's see. We got the Sudara stuff right here. So that's in modules. CMake includes Sudara CMake. We can actually get rid of this. I don't remember where I got that from, but yeah. And then some Windows stuff. So this is what actually um, adds the plugin. And you can see that it shares a lot of the same flags and properties from a producer uh, page. So one thing we definitely need to make sure is that we change the manufacturer code to our company name, which you can do this for your own. And then plugin code, you definitely don't want this to match anything else you've ever done. So, um, you know, with the same uh, manufacturer code together. So let's do, um, I don't know, Comet, Channel Strip, something like that. I don't know. Compile definitions for our project. These are some source files that aren't in this project that are from the other project that we pulled this from. So, yep, source, modules, juice, audio plugin data. I'm pretty sure this um, target directory is already set up by the CMake includes. Okay, a few more. Uh, definitions, like you'll see the web browser, the curl can replace VST2. This is the only thing that's different. That that was something for a different um, library. Is that all good? Name without version. I guess I'm going to also change that. Okay. We're telling it how to find source CPP and header files. We've got target sources. Yep. This is really cool. It sets up an assets... Um, target for us so that if you put an assets folder in your root directory like here it will automatically go through everything in here and turn it into binary data kind of like whenever you would put in a image or whatever in your producer project and you would say add existing and you would choose it and stuff um, the only annoying thing is that it needs at least one thing in there by default. So I'm going to take everything out except for the logo, I guess. So yeah, that's good. Assets, add binary data right here from the assets folder. Uh-huh. That's a target that is set up earlier. Dependencies. Yep. Uh, here are the juice modules. You'll recognize that from the modules folder. Okay, cool. And that's it. So we should be able to get rid of this build that didn't uh, complete. And then let's do a reload CMake project. Okay, let's try to run it real quick and make sure it works. Excellent. We got our basic boilerplate plugin. Okay, so let's do Xcode and VS Code. It's not too hard. We are going to create a Xcode build folder. We're going to go inside of it. And we're just going to say CMake dash G Xcode dot dot. And that will create a, an exporter or it'll create a, a build project file for Xcode. It'll reload CMake again. Cool. So we now should be able to go into the folder and see Xcode build, and here we go, an Xcode project. Cool, all right, let's do a standalone, yep. And I need to change the destination so that I can choose Rosetta to run standalone. Cool, it built, that was easy. Let's close that, because I don't actually want to use Xcode, and I should mention one thing. If you are on Intel and not M1, you're not going to be able to build for M1, so for ARM64. So all you'll need to do is take out this ARM64 right here, do x86, and you'll be good. Because you'll get some weird errors if you don't fix that. 
Okay, lastly, VS Code. Now, it's pretty much as simple as opening the folder. Let's see here. Yeah, um, comment channel strip. Okay. So select a kit. Um, I, I think GCC gives a, a problem. Uh, I think I had no issue with clang, so let's do that. Okay, looks like it built. I think it's done. Yeah, okay. So to run it like we do in C Lion or Xcode, we do uh, Command Shift P and we'll go run without debugging and it will ask you what uh, target. So we'll do standalone. Cool. It ran. All right. Close that. So you could use VS Code if you want. So that should be easy whether you're on uh, Mac or Windows. Um, if you don't use VS Code and you're on Windows, um, I, I imagine that there's a similar command to make a uh, Visual Studio solution, uh, kind of like the way we did with the Xcode one, uh, but I'm not I'm not sure. I just use C line on Windows, so I'm actually gonna get rid of this. I don't really need it, which means we don't need this build either. I think that came from the Xcode one. I'm not sure. Uh, so let's commit what we got so far because we've got the project up and running. So let's go to Git Ignore and make sure we're ignoring the stuff we don't need. And we can see what we have right now. Status. Uh, let's see. We've got DS Store. We definitely don't need. We don't need CMake Build Debug. Uh, the rest of that's probably fine. So let's add .DS Store and CMake Build Debug. And I'm also going to take this, copy it, and do release because sometimes. Uh, you'll build release to check things. So let's make sure that all took effect. Let's see, we got, yep, that all looks good. Okay, cool. So we'll add all of it. Classic initial commit. And push. Excellent. Now you can go to GitHub, clone it, and always be up to date with it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.